98, 99, 100. See, Curly? I told you Nasha had a hundred fleas. You owe me an ice cream. Oh. See you later, dear. <sighs> Can't you boys find something a bit more useful to do in the holidays? Like that nice Walter. Why? What's he doing? Good business by the look of it. Why not try today's special offer? Buy three muffins and get ten bonus points on your Walter Enterprises loyalty card. Oh, what a wonderful idea. What's your name, young man? <coughs> My card. Oh, how very, um, enterprising. Remember, the three golden rules of business. Number one, always look your best. Number two, always use pie charts. Did he say pies? Pie charts, pie face. And rule number three, the most important, always behave like a grown-up. Like a grown-up. Got it. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I've been offered a very important position and I don't want to be late. <laughs> important position? What's he on about? Dennis, lunch. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'm starving. Not your lunch, silly. Dad's. He left it on the kitchen table. Could you be a love and take it to his office for him? Thanks. Huh. Ah, no. oh. How did that get there? It should be in its proper place. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I brought you lunch. And uh, this is the rubber band and paper clips department. Oh, no! It's Scrimp! He mustn't see you here! Quick! Ah, what's his name? There you are. I'd like to introduce your new assistant. Say hello to Walter. Walter? He's here for the summer to learn the business. Rubber bands everywhere? Well, spotted lad, you're learning fast. Masha, don't! What's that noise? Uh, uh, my tummy. <laughs> I have a bit of uh, indigestion. <sighs> mm. Come on, Walter, I'll show you the canteen. How about some lemonade, hmm? I prefer herbal tea, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, much healthier. <laughs> Your previous system of rubber band classification was extremely inefficient, so I've reorganised them according to length, colour and elasticity. There's really no need... I've also labelled things in the office so we know what's what and whose is whose. The thing is, what's his name? It's just more efficient this way. That's it. You're supposed to be my assistant. What's more, you will address me by my proper name. It's Mr... What's his name? What's going on, eh? Why all this shouting? Uh, sorry, Mr Scrimp. How's our young work experience lad doing, eh? Fine, Mr Scrimp. Just fine. <laughs> I knew it. I predict great things for you, Walter. Well, uh, carry on, what's his name? Come on, look lively. Quality, elasticity, efficiency, herbal tea. <laughs> Can you believe it, Nasha? Walter's making Dad's life a misery. <laughs> well, tomorrow it'll be a different story, cos Dad'll have us helping him out. My new roller clip storage system will revolutionise Dad's department. What? What's that doing there? Dennis, I thought I told you to... Don't worry, Dad. I'm helping. You can't help, Dennis. Not today. I'm giving a very important talk about efficiency. Trust me. I can be just as efficient as Walter. Look, I've fastened the paper clips together so you won't lose any. Thanks, Dennis, but where's the end of the chain? Oh, 
So there you are. Um, I'd like you to meet Hiram Bigbax, the head of our company. He's flown all the way from Texas to be with us for the talk. Heard a lot about you, son. Scrimp tells me you got them rubber bands licked. <laughs> yes, sir. What have you got there? Paper clips, sir. Some very silly person has fastened them all together. So I'm going to undo them again. <laughs> I like you, Walter. You remind me of myself as a boy. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. Sorry, Mr. Scrimp, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That does it! I've had it with you, what's his name? From now on, you can just empty the waste paper bins. But what about the presentation? I'm leaving that to my most efficient employee, Walter! You've got to get off me dad's case, Walter. Sorry, Dennis. It's not my fault if your father is inefficient. Right, Nasha. This means war. My fellow executives, to save me dad's job, we've got to fight Walter with useless... Uh, I mean, ruthless efficiency. My business plan comprises the latest marketing strategies, fiscal projections and profit indexes, and this leaky pen, hair gel, glasses and fake moustaches. Any questions? What's an executive? I'll tell you later. Menace and company, let's go to work. There goes Walter. Time to put phase one of our business plan into action. Nasha? Yes? Phase two will be carried out in the boardroom. Let's see how Walter handles a takeover bid. When Hiram Big Bucks hears my speech, he'll be so impressed, he'll probably give me Mr. Squimp's job! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be talking about the global market, with particular reference to rubber bands and paper clips. Uh, you have a question? Yes. Would you agree with me that the first rule of business is always to look your best? Because if so, <laughs> I don't think you've looked in the mirror recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, to illustrate my points, I'm going to be using pie charts. Like this one. <laughs> oh, I think you've drawn your pie chart a bit too efficiently. <laughs> Someone's taken a bite out of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. I'm oh, sorry. Forget about the pie charts and talk about uh, elasticity. Hello? Yes, what now? I've heard it said that behaving like a grown up is the most important thing in business. Is that true? Yes, it is! And interrupting people is very childish. So could you please. <laughs> Skateboarding? That's not very grown up, is it, Walter? You! And now, phase three! Run for it, lads! <laughs> Get this dumb kid off me! Dennis, what have you done now? Uh, got you your job back. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Big Box. Oh, uh, if there's anything I can do... You can stop hiring boys to do a man's job! Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, what's his name? Where do you think you're going? There's work to do. Ah, it's great being in business. Pie face, take a letter. Dear Mum, can you hurry up with the lemonade and cake? 
Forget it, then. I think Pie Face is in love. I won't be back till Sunday. Are you sure you can look after yourselves for an entire weekend? Of course we can, dear. No problem. Worry, Mum. You just go off and have fun. I'm not going away to have fun, Dennis. It's a yoga retreat. It'll be very hard work. <laughs> Remember, Gran will be coming over tomorrow to help with B. Yes, yes, Mum. We'll be fine, won't we, Dad? Of course we will. We're a team, <laughs> me and Dennis. Now, you just get going. Enjoy yourself, dear. We'll take care of everything. Project? Uh, sort of. It's a pie thing. Ah, mathematics. Pi R squared. Mm, could be squared, Dad. <laughs> or it could be round. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this here, Den. My mum's banned me from our kitchen. Not surprising, seeing as your last pie making effort blew out the windows. I just used a bit too much yeast, that's all. I'm gone. Here's the instructions. Uh, Insta pie. The pie in a box for delicious pies in seconds. Just add water. Just add water? Boring. I'm going to find some stuff to spice it up a bit. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> Dairy style whipped cream. Lemon flavoured pie making product. Meringue type pie. Topping stuff and pork sausage flavour enhancer. Pork sausage flavour enhancer? Isn't this meant to be a lemon meringue pie? It's not just for us, right? It's for Nasha too. <laughs> Never heard of lemon meringue and sausage pie before. There's always a first time. <gasps> Dennis, what did you just add? Bulk foodstuff super booster. Well, it's super boosting the pie right out of the basin. Quick, to the bathroom! This stuff's magic. All we need now is water. Oh! Ooh. Krishna Vashti Rubber Spine Pose is a level one exercise designed to bring about total relaxation. So clear your mind and just relax. <laughs> relax? Oh, easy for you to say. The first paper clip was designed to fasten labels to garments and textiles. The double bend single manifold paperclip was a great step. Dennis! Invented by Hiram P. Whitmarch in 1975. Dennis! And now, ladies, we move on to the inverted lotus blossom. Look deeply into your inner self. Think beautiful thoughts and let yourself go. <laughs> Everything running smoothly, I see. No problem, Gran. If this isn't a problem, Dennis, I'd like to know what is. Uh, where's 
Bruce B. 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 Curly, pie face, help me clean her up. No, B. Enough of that nasty stuff. I'll find you some nice chocolate. <laughs> chuck, 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 chuck. You're in big trouble, Dennis. Hey, what am I saying? We're in big trouble. No problem, Dad. I've already got an idea about cleaning up this mess. No, it was one of your ideas that made this mess in the first place. We'll clean it up my way. You're lucky your mum's away for another day. Oh, it's good for fathers and sons to bond. I don't want to overdo it, though. And anyway, they might need me. Uh, the... oh, Dennis, guess what? I'm coming home right now. Well, this yoga thing isn't as relaxing as I thought. And anyway, once you've done one inverted lotus blossom, you've done them all. <laughs> oh. So I'll be back in a couple of hours. Just Time for you to make me dinner. Mum's coming back. Well, of course she is. She lives here. No, I mean now. She's catching the next train and she wants us to make her dinner. Well, what are you waiting for? You will not get cleaning. I'll head her off. Dennis! I have an idea, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Gran! Oh, 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 not again! <laughs> oh, 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 my! I never had that effect on anyone before. Oh, they call it the inverted lotus blossom. It's supposed to be very relaxing. It doesn't look it. But don't worry. I know just the thing. We'll find you a chiropractor. A whatopractor? Someone will give you a nice soothing massage. <laughs> See? I told you. It's working, Dad. But will we get it finished before Mum gets back? I told her we were going to look after the house, not totally trash it. This isn't the way home. Where are you taking me, Gran? The hospital. Like I said, you need a chiropractor. No, I just need to be home with my family. We can't let Dennis and his dad see you like this. Oh, think of the shock to their systems. Hurry, Dennis, we're running out of time. There's nothing else for it, Nasha. You've got to help me. <laughs> You do the stairs while I do upstairs. <laughs> See, I knew you'd like pork sausage flavour enhancer. No, the chiropractor's office is closed until Monday. Just take me home, Gran. Uh, are you sure? Oh, we could try somewhere else. Take me home! OK, but I've got a feeling you're not going to like it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's so good to be home. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. oh, yoga classes are fine. But there's nothing like coming back to your own lovely, peaceful home. That was close, Dennis. Too close, Gran. But at least everything's under control now.
fault, Mum. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday! And after that, tidy your room! You two! Go on! Oh! There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat, <laughs> how to crack crimes and solve mysteries. <laughs> the mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to solve mysteries? Cool! There. Oh, now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? Well, you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. Oh, <laughs> oh where's my teapot? <laughs> It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? Sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? <coughs> a private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. <coughs> this afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <coughs> Do you have anything that might help us pick up the scent? What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect! Cop a whiff of that natural pal and she, if you can't, sniff out the culprit. Treehouse! <laughs> Who keeps doing that? Right, that's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. <laughs> nice work, Nasher. Looks like the trail might end right here. <laughs> So that's what Nasha was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red. Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts, and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me. Uh, OK. Uh, he had tied hair uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tom, ti tom, ti tom, tom. Tra la! <laughs> Hand over the teapot, Walter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <laughs> <gasps> OK, teapot rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? Yes, yes. Teapot? Loot? Oh, I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <coughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs Creature has a vast collection. <laughs> <sighs> This is the life, nice and quiet, a pot of tea and no... Dennis! What are you doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. Is that right? 
So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it's nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie. No! OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. Oh. We're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <coughs> one like this. <coughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollface. But you're not out of the frame until we've found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you can't come in here. Go uh, to Colonel's orders. No, Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Oh, well, ever since he promised me a slap up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, and sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks, enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why, uh, thank you. Uh, I might say the same about you. <laughs> oh, splendid hat, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one! dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot. That's right. No teapot. Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way. We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait. Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Gran! I'm really sorry! Oh, it's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> Choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! Hello, sweet cheeks. Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away. Butch over a beagle! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis! Oh, you're a brilliant investigator! Sure has! Sweet cheeks! What happened to my lawn? Well, it all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents! That's one mystery I'll never solve. Ha 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 ha! 
Dennis, oh, I blame that new joke shop. Yes, stay away from it. Do something sensible for a change. All right, I'll take Nasha for a nice walk. <laughs> to the joke shop! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ha Ha! Dennis, good to see you again. You too. So, what's new? Ah, vampire chattery teeth. <laughs> With a difference. <laughs> Added bad breath. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, hello, Mother. <laughs> oh, yes, Mother. No, Mother. Oh, of course, Mother. What's wrong? My mother, she's flying into Beano Town this morning, which means she's going to find out I run a joke shop. So, what's the problem? When she gave me money to set up a business, she thought I was a... vet. If she finds out the truth, I'll have to close down. <gasps> close the shop? No! I'm afraid so. Unless... <gasps> we turn this shop into a vet for the day! You mean... Play a trick on my mother? <laughs> well, well, I mean, that would be... Fun? <laughs> Curly, get Pie Face and get down to Mr Ha Ha's. We've got an emergency. Mother, quick, hide! Mother! Hello, Hardy. Uh, welcome to my practice. Uh, how, how was your journey? The flight was bumpy, the taxi was smelly. This is it? Yes? You don't seem very busy. Uh, I'm expecting my assistant to bring in a patient any second. That's us! Come on, Nasha! Ah, there you are. And who is this little fellow? Uh, uh, Nasha. And what seems to be the problem? Uh, uh, pointy arrowitis. Ah, yes. Pop him on the table. Surely there's no hope. Shouldn't you just put him out of his misery? <laughs> Let's see. A mallet, a clamp. <laughs> Mr. Ha Ha, I think we need an anaesthetic. Let us begin. Uh, Mother, you'd better sit down. Uh, tweezers. Check. Lights. Check. Dramatic music. Check. Then I'm going in. Ooh. Last one. Oh, yeah. And then there. Oh, oh. oh. Last one. It's going to be tricky. <gasps> Don't lose it now, Doctor. Now to wrap up. There. Right as rain. treatment, won't he? D oh, yes. Yes, say in a, a week or two. Well done, Hardy. You've saved him. <sighs> Psst. We've got a problem, Den. Look outside. <laughs> 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 
Uh, oops. Uh, uh, we're closed. Closed? Oh, do your job, Hardy. Save these poor animals now. Oh, yes, Mother. Um... Telescope. Telesco telescope? Hmm. Uh, he's cross-eyed. Hey! Uh, he's suffering from uh, the concentric pupils. We've got just the thing. I think he might have, uh, um... Uh, low... Low... volume? Low volume... maximosis! Exactly! Uh, he's lost his voice. Try this, Mr. Ha Ha! Holy <laughs> water cracker! Holy water cracker! Oh, of course. A uh, thermometer. Classic case of nippy rodent syndrome, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ha Ha? Oh, definitely. Yes, a, a very bad chill. No problem. This will warm him up. I'm very proud of you, Hardy. Now, give me a tour of Beano Town so I can show off my clever son. Oh, yes, Mother. Dennis, help! Dr. Ha Ha, what about our vet school? Vets in training, uh, that's us. Oh, yes, eager to learn. More school? <gasps> Hardy, you've got little apprentices. You're so dedicated. Go. Teach. <clears throat> Oops. And who is this? I'm the local vet, and I've been getting a lot of dissatisfied customers. Uh, ah. May I suggest, Mr. Ha Ha, that you stick to what you know. Go back to running a joke shop. I can't believe my ears. A joke shop? Can this really be true, Hardy? You run a joke shop? But it's the best shop in town, Mrs. Ha Ha. My favourite. Please don't be angry. Fooling you was my idea. Angry? I'm shocked. Hardy Ha Ha, you always said you wanted to be a vet. Mother, that was when I was five. But can you honestly say that you're happy? Larking about in a joke shop? We're all happy in the shop, Mrs. Ha Ha, aren't we? Oh, oh yes. yes! I suppose if you're happy, that's all that really matters. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawping. Show me everything! <laughs> Results! Oh, well, if you'd like to come this way, Mother, here we have a drawer full of fake doggy doodles. <laughs> That's always a winner. Uh, of course, the obligatory wigs, hats, itching powder, whoopee cushions. <laughs> 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 Popularity rock in a bag. Oh, it's a winner. <laughs> oh, dear. It's oh, hilarious. Dennis, I thought I told you to stay away from this joke shop. But, Mum... Oh, please don't be too hard on him. Boys will be boys and they all like a joke. And some of these things are quite amusing. <laughs> oh, very amusing, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis? We have someone 
we want you to meet. Oh! She's come to look after you. Right. Dennis, this is Nanny Moonbeam. It's just that... Uh... Can't hear you up there, Mr Daddy. Now, tell me again. We saw your programme on television and... Uh... Well, Dennis can be very naughty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we don't say naughty, Mrs Mummy. It's just that he's unable to let his natural goodness shine through. See? Well, we think he needs more discipline. Oh, dear me, no. He just needs to put all his negativity in a tiny bottle of say sorry and let his love grow. Are you sure? We've tried... Now, if you're going to start a new life, you'll need a new name. What shall we call you? Captain Space Tiger! Um, uh, Dr Maximilian von Strudelheim? I think Little Denny Rainbow. <laughs> and you'll be Fluffy Flower Pop. <laughs> That's right, Curly. No punishments allowed. It's brilliant. I thought she might be tricky, but it's gonna be a pushover. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Denny Rainbow. You've just run over the kitchen floor. Was that kind? Kind of what? The kitchen floor doesn't like little people who think they're clever. Would you like to say sorry to the kitchen floor? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And make Mr Floor happy. Would you like to give him a nice clean? I don't think so. Well, Mr Squidgy, would you would? And I think he wants to start cleaning right away. Oh! Now, you must be hungry after all your work. What's your favourite food, Denny Rainbow? Um, pizza? Uh, hamburger? Uh, chicken wings? <gasps> Chocolate fudge cake? And what don't you like? Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts when they're all grey and... Then let's turn all that hate into love and respect, shall we? I've been boiling these for three hours and I'm sure you'll love them just as much as they love you. <laughs> Fluffy Flower Pop wants his sprouty waltz too. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing any more of this. Rule number 52. We don't stop till the job is done, do we? And what happens when we break the rule? We discuss it in the Talk It Through teepee. And the contemplation kennel. <sighs> and we're also going to discuss making it up to Mr. Tree for climbing him this morning and breaking Rule 14. <laughs> Denny Rainbow! Now, do you know any whale music? Uh, uh, to go. See you later, Den. And now you'll want to welcome the frightened birds back to their homes, won't you? I made a din, my feathered friends. I had my selfish fun. I'll plant a flower for you because I broke rule 61. And what do we do then? <laughs> She's driving me crazy, Curly. Every time I do anything, she comes in and... What time, Denny Rainbow? And I'll see you at 5 a.m. for an extra plant a flower and sing how lucky we are session. That's it. We're leaving home. <laughs> OK, Nasha, get on board. <laughs> Life just can't get any worse. It can, Walter. What are you 
doing, Dennis? Tell him, Denny. Denny Rainbow, I'm enjoying the warm sunshine and pretty flowers. Huh. So, they're finally teaching you hooligans to behave. I'm Walter. I must congratulate you on having such a wonderful effect on Dennis. What a very charming boy. You should be more like him, Denny. Exactly. If you were like me, Dennis, you wouldn't always be getting into trouble, would he? <laughs> I am like Walter now, and I always will be, unless I can get rid of this woman. Hang on. What if Walter was like me, the real me? Then... <gasps> That's it, Nasha. It's simple. We have to make Walter more like me. you got to take a note to curl him pie face. <laughs> Uh, what's all this then, Den? It's me plan to get rid of her. Listen, I don't have long. She's let me out on a trust exercise to buy probionic yoghurt. These are for you. What? Scare her off? You wouldn't need glasses, pie face. You know, if he had a bow tie... There's a set for you too, Curly. He'd look like... Walter? <laughs> You're right. You see, I'm going to be good and Walter, that's you two, He's going to be a menace. Then we'll see who needs Nanny Moonbeam. Right to Walters, Jen. Because I want him everywhere. Uh, look at me. I'm Rainy. Whee! It can't be. Hi, Sergeant Slipper. It's me again. I'm so naughty. <laughs> and so artistic. <laughs> Walter. Everyone at work saw him. He climbed up the statue of Mr Scrimp and painted his nose blue. I can't believe it. Apparently he was seen in the high street too, releasing a load of penguins into a fish shop. Well, it doesn't sound like Walter. It was him, all right. He had a bow tie and he was carrying a violin. It's more the kind of thing Dennis would do. Den, Den! Except that he's here all the time. Poor Walter. It must be the strain of having all those brains. Nanny Moonbeam? Yes, Denny Rainbow? I have a confession. Nasha and I almost ran across the grass yesterday. We stopped ourselves, of course. Well done, little Denny. But I think I might need another session in the Talk It Through teepee. I think you're a very good boy. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's the big one. Got the street map? The shovels? Shovels, check. Wheelbarrows, check. It's OK, Din. We'll get you out. And you know where you're headed. Go for it, then. She's certainly doing a marvellous job. Oh, yes. Today she made me clean out all the kitchen cupboards because I spilt some sugar on the worktop. Quite right. Yes, I accidentally mowed one of her flowers and she made me write a letter of condolence to its mummy and daddy. She's a wonderful person. Absolutely. But she's driving me mad! If I have to sit once more in that circle of truth... But how do we get rid of her? Hello? Yes, yes it is. It's Walter's dad. Really? Quick drying cement? In the mayor's car? Poor Walter. He has gone off the rails, hasn't he? We do, actually. She's called Nanny Moonbeam. Recommend her? Oh, absolutely! Well, uh, we don't need her anymore. Uh, fine. Yes, I'll tell her right away. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could have taken much more. Me neither. Still, she's gone now. Everything's back to normal. But just because Nanny Moonbeam's gone doesn't mean you can misbehave, OK? Course not, Dad. <laughs> Result! <laughs> I think young Walter and I are going to need an emergency session in the Talk It Through teepee. Yay! <laughs> oh, I don't believe it, Nasha. The tickets for the wrestling tonight are way out of my allowance. 
dance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr Magnifico fight. Mr Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie Face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh! Come on, Nasha. It's not fair, Nasha. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. <laughs> First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of junior first aider with your mum. <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere. These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a first aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your first aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean, how hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. Ah, there. That's our studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just... My... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And apply a cold compress. Coming right up. Nasha? Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. Frozen chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> is suffering from heat stroke. What do you do to help? 
Uh, call him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy. Nasha, jumper. <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. The blood flowing back to his head. I'm on it, Mum. Okay, Nasha. Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! <laughs> what about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. Oh. Uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, uh, Mr Magnifico. Uh, payback time! 